Hey guys, my name is Alan and in this video uh, I wanted to show you how to configure the sum signal in a Grabner GR12L. Uh, I decided to do this video because it's really really difficult uh, to find this information in English. You know, I, I had a I had a you know difficult time trying to find out how to do those the, do this the first time, and I hope you find it uh, useful. And uh, I also apologize for my accent. I know it's really thick, and I hope you can understand. Uh, it's better than just making a mute video with a bunch of uh, text. You know, it's very annoying. Anyways, uh, as you can notice, you know, first thing I did here was uh, to remove the propellers in my quadcopter. And this is the GR12L receiver, I hope you can see it in the camera very well. And we're gonna be configuring sound in the 6th channel. Uh, it should be the last one in this receiver. And, uh, as you can see you have to match uh, the negative to positive and the signal. Make sure you match that really well and you should be able to uh, get done with the first step here. Here the uh, the cable uh, it's connected to the receiver, and that's uh, just right after that you connect your uh, the other end to your flight controller wherever the some uh, pins are, and then with the proper configuration in Betaflight, which is what I use, you should be able to make the receiver to communicate with your flight controller. All right, so next thing I usually do first is turn on the uh, transmitter and just wait for it to boot up uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and turn off uh, the signal just for a little bit so uh, first thing you wanna do here is uh, you know, well I'm gonna go ahead and plug uh, the quadcopter up so I can get some power from the receiver so we can go ahead and connect it onto the transmitter okay so uh, first thing you wanna do here is uh, let's see okay so uh, we're looking for this green uh, looking icon it's got a B with uh, some gears so we just tap on that and what we're trying to do is uh, by going to the TX control is go ahead and turn on the the RF signal so we can connect to the uh, receiver that way we can configure the sum signal in the receiver so we go well I can make sure you know the receiver is showing up in the main screen which is right now those green bars and then we wanna look up uh, for that uh, green icon again then after that we're gonna click on the icon that says telemetry after you click on that, you're going to be looking at what the receiver is uh, seeing right now. So we're going to click on setting and data view. Right after that, you know, we want to uh, move the indicator down to where it says summed at channel 6. And by doing this, I think you have to, let's see, yeah, increase. So the little arrow moves down. So you just tap as many times as you need to move it down to uh, where it says summed at channel 6. After that, I think you click either enter or set. Let's see. Yeah, let's click set. There you go. So now you say that yes is selected. So then you just uh, click set and then you're ready to go back to the main menu. Yeah, so at this point, I'm gonna just go back. Your signal should be already active and it should be communicating with your drone. And remember, you have to do the proper configuration in Betaflag before you attempt, you know, trying to fly. So you make sure all the controls are where they're supposed to be. And like, uh, for example, in mine, I have my uh, arming in this switch right here. So if I flip it up, motor should start moving, as you can see. You won't be able to hear it because my microphone sucked when I was, you know, editing this video. So I had to redo the audio. And if I flip it back down, you should be able to see that they stopped. And uh, uh, everything works really well here. Uh, it's really, really handy to have uh, the signal configured this way in the drone. And if you have any questions, uh, please go ahead and ask in the comments. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any tips for me, you know, to better my videos in the future, just let me know. Uh, thank you for watching and you guys have a really nice day.